when you figure them out and when they know that you know who they are shit hits the fan and the whole situation changes hi i am danish a narcissistic abuse recovery professional and today in this episode i'll be talking about what happens when a narcissist knows you know and what to expect before we begin let's try to understand the personality of a narcissist a narcissist being a predator they study you they are the one of the best analysts of human behavior meaning they are highly overly attuned with the prey they have in their trap they study your behaviorisms they study your ways of perceiving the world they study how you think about relationships they they even observe your breathing patterns they observe your every aspect just to know how to attack when to attack and in what direction to attack that means that even a minute fluctuation is going to trigger their alert system the narcissistic alert system that tells them that they are about to lose the supply a minute fluctuation even in your tonality can tell this person that you are up to something so once you figure them out one thing is for sure and certain that you will not be able to pretend that you do not know anything for a long time they will figure it out eventually they will do so many things and the things that i'll be covering in a minute just to bring it out of you just to get that reaction just to make you lose it that's why once you figure a narcissist out the best thing to do is to plan your exit strategy whether it is your boss your partner your parent anyone who is a narcissist in your in your life once you know who they are the best way to deal with them is to leave and run so let's try to understand what would they do what happens in a narcissist's head how do they react what are, what are their uh, ways of behaving how how do they change themselves and morph themselves into different personalities just to keep you around or the worst to hurt you for figuring them out now there are two possibilities once you find who they are and once you know how they function you may feel happy about it like it's like you if you felt you feel like you have the keys to the kingdom you have found the secret treasure you know the truth you see the possibility of your freedom but before you get to the point of absolute and true freedom you have to go through a lot of pain first because before it gets better it gets worse once a narcissist knows that you know they are going to one either blow bomb you do things that they never did in the in the past to keep you around just become the nicest best possible version of themselves cry beg and you would see a changed person and just know that it is a it is a strategy to keep you around or if you still hold your ground if you still do not give up they are going to become the monster you are going to see the worst side of them that you never saw before once you start taking your steps back once you start gray rocking them once you start uh, responding and not reacting once you start cutting your communication with them they are going to come after you they are going to become more aggressive in their approach either through covert subtle love bombing or if that doesn't work they are going to abuse you further so everything that happened in the relationship prior is going to intensify whether it is love bombing or their abuse belittling humiliation um making fun of you your job your cooking everything that you do is going to be made fun of you are going to be abused in every possible way because one you finding them out is a big narcissistic injury in a narcissist's world they're perfect it's like they think they cannot be traced that their truth cannot be found out because whatever they have created this trap it is perfect and once you break it once you find out once you know the code once you know the password it is a big narcissistic injury and that means it is going to elicit narcissistic rage and narcissistic punishment so the one possibility is that they are going to love bomb if that doesn't work the other possibility is they are going to punish you even more that's why before it gets better it's going to get worse once you leave they are going to 
punish you not only in the relationship but also even after that because they have to put you down they have to defeat you to just maintain the concept that they cannot be defeated that they are above everyone else that they are better than everyone else that they are smarter than everyone else so this punishment after the breakup or after the separation would come in the form of putting you through extremely difficult court battles and if you share children custody battles not giving you what you deserve what is rightfully yours making it extremely hard to negotiate playing around filing one motion after the other just making you suffer in one or the other way smear campaigning you isolating you further isolating you from your support systems imagine every possible way that they can use to damage you they would use it without a thought this nice kind changed person that they pretended to be in the beginning that was the possibility number one would never be seen if for example you have properties that you own jointly for example your cars houses or things like that they are going to cut you off from those resources from the from those assets without giving you any kind of warning or they're going to become ruthless be prepared do not let them take you by the surprise because these things are going to happen and they are going to reveal their true self because once you're prepared you would be equipped enough to fight back if it is a bank account that you own jointly take your money out separate your phone numbers do things that would create more and more separation and diminish control so that they are they are able to cause less damage less damage to your finances to your image do not assume that they are going to get easy on you they are going to cross every every level imaginable when it comes to punishment when it comes to punishing you through that narcissistic rage and one more important concept one more important thing that you need to take care of is while you're leaving while you're in the process of leaving is your physical safety you may be already aware that in the cases of domestic violence leaving is the most vulnerable and the dangerous time these people are very unpredictable and they can go to any level and if it is a psychopathic narcissist like a, a malignant narcissist that you're dealing with they could probably be a threat they could cause physical harm physical damage so you have to take that factor into consideration as well and you have to do everything that you can think about to make sure that you and your children are physically safe some of the examples are changing your physical address changing your phone numbers letting your friends know that you are going through this and you are expecting this and you are afraid letting them know letting your support circle know staying with someone who you think is safe for you like having someone around maybe moving to your friends for a brief period until you get your restraining order against them the expectation is clear that they are going to triple and quadruple their abuse i haven't seen a narcissist yet who just gets bored with these games because they the more they are able to affect you the more they are able to cause you harm be directly or indirectly the more they enjoy this chaos so it is going to get to a peak point once they have no options or they move to a different supply they leave you alone and it comes all the way down so i hope in today's episode i was able to help you understand what happens when a narcissist knows you have figured them out and what you should expect i'll talk with you very soon in the next episode till then let the healing begin